This is the Project Gemini Update, your source for all things Project Gemini. Brought to you by Riffical Records. And here's your host, Mark Anthony Kay. Greetings, friends, and welcome to episode 219 of the Project Gemini Update. Today is May 15th, uh, and I'm here to give you another update on the status of the vinyl pressing for what's on your mind. Uh, Last time we spoke, I showed you the album covers that I got in. Uh, As of right now, all of the album covers are now signed and numbered. Uh, I'm just waiting on the posters and I'm waiting on the hype stickers from the uh, printing place that I go to. Uh, The posters have to be put into the album covers and then sent back to uh, Train Records and where they wait for the finished vinyl to be brought in. But before the finished vinyl could come, there's one more step that has to happen. And thankfully, this step has already happened already. So this album is gonna be done much more ahead of schedule than I had originally thought of, to be quite honest, because what I was waiting for next is this. Let's see if I can pick this up without dropping it. There we go. And that is the test pressings have come in. And like last time they gave it, they give them now in these fantastic sleeves here as well. They come in uh, and inside they come in beautiful Japanese style inner sleeves with all the information on the front as well there. It tells you all the information on there. And I'll take out the vinyl. There's nothing really to see right now. It just gives, they always just usually give them to you on just a regular white blank label in which I normally do my own little handwritten artwork for it uh, just so people know what side is A and side B. Uh, also, it's if you're ever lost on that, which you know you, you never will be with the regular pressings, obviously, but in the test pressings, uh, again, you won't be confused because I do write side A and B. But if for some reason I ever didn't do that, uh, you can always check the dead wax information on there, and I usually have some sort of little message uh, written in there in the matrix, the dead wax matrix, uh, and you'll know what side is which by the way that the message is you know, printed out because it'll make a perfect sentence. So you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so the test pressings are in and uh, I'll be taking a listen to them. As far as I'm concerned, that's just, it's just a formality. I do it every time I listen to all 10 of them because of the fact that I do offer them to you, the supporters for helping out and for being such a great bunch of people for helping me out through all this time, through all my records I've done. This is record number eight if you can believe it. Uh, so yeah, you guys have been along, a lot of you have been along for a, a, for quite a long time. So I thank you again for that. Uh, but yeah, I do listen to all 10 of the test pressings because I will be offering some more of them. The people who were executive producers on the record uh, will be getting their test pressings as well. That's part of the deal for becoming executive producers. So you, I thought that, that's why I listen to all of them just because I want to make sure that the people who have already committed to them We'll get get good copies of them, fantastic copies. They always sound great. Uh, and then I'll put some up for sale on the Bandcamp site later, not now. I will, of course, let you guys know when they will be available so you guys don't miss out a chance on getting one if you do want one. <clears throat> now, one last thing before I go. Uh, there are a few copies left of the album on vinyl. We're getting down to about 30 copies now. Uh, if you guys want to get a copy of it, I suggest that you get it now. Uh, usually... When I do get the final version of it, like the actual finished product in hand, it's never failed that I've had a flurry of orders then. I think most people who haven't been longtime supporters or maybe even new supporters, when they see that the record is in my hand, then I usually get another flood of orders. So if you don't want to get caught in the, you know, the aftermath of that and find that there's no more records, then I suggest that you get put your uh, order in for a copy now. Uh, and I can't believe I'm going to actually say this, but the same kind of goes for the CDs. The CDs have been going pretty well as well. And uh, uh, they're not as low as the vinyl, but they're starting to get low. So if you do want a CD copy, it might be a good idea to get a copy, copy of that as well. And that's that. So 
looks like everything's going very well. I'm very happy with things. Like I said, I have a feeling it's just going to be a formality. It's just going to be listening to me listening to these records 10 times in a row, which is not a bad thing to do because I do enjoy my music. So it's not going to be a problem. And uh, after that, uh, yeah, then after that, I'll be talking to you guys about something else next time. Uh, I will be talking about the Dark Monarchy for you guys next time I come on video. Uh, and I hope I, I hope you guys will uh, check out the video and hear what I have to say about it. I think it'll be very interesting for you guys. Uh, I did kind of touch base about it a little bit on some of the prior videos, but in more detail later on. So that's it for the Project Gemini end of things. Everything's going fantastically well. I'm extremely happy with the way things are going. I can't wait to get the posters. Of course, when I get them, I'll probably end up showing you guys those as well. I, I usually go show you guys everything that I get as far as the vinyl is concerned. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, oh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. It does help get more eyes on the video, which helps, you know, get my videos, you know, in higher rotation on the YouTube channels themselves. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do. I'd really appreciate it. And I thank you again for your support. And I'll leave it at that for now. I hope you guys all have a great day. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.